Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of Sticker Fun, our sticker series. And when I say our sticker series, I mean the sticker series that I am doing with Debbie from Debbie Gets Crafty. If you like what you see in this video, please give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what's going on in your little part of the world. Let me know what you're working on. Don't forget, head on over to Debbie Gets Crafty. Watch her sticker video of the day. See what she worked on and leave her a comment. Give her a thumbs up. Tell her Judy from Crafting with Judy sent you. She loves that. If it's your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the show. This is our final week, guys. We're in the home stretch. Um, I cannot believe it. Um, Debbie and I got these stickers and, um, Debbie was the one that picked them out actually. And, uh, we've been doing a sticker a day. Um, I don't know which sticker she's working on. She doesn't know what sticker I'm working on, but this week is a little bit special because this is our finale. And this week, uh, we are doing two stickers Monday through Thursday and on Friday, it will be our last sticker, the big reveal. I will also show you on Friday the book that I got for us to put our stickers in. I got Debbie one as well. I got that from Amazon. Huge shout out uh, to my friend Nancy, who uh, showed me her sticker book that she got. And I thought it was so adorable. So I went on Amazon and I ordered Debbie and I sticker books. Uh, as well. So thank you, Nancy. And um, yeah, so let's get to it again. If you're new, welcome. Hope you enjoy what you see. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. Missed you guys. Love you to death. Let's get going here. So I can see already that because this is the sticker that I'm going to start with. I'm doing two stickers today. This is the sticker I'm starting with. This is the way that the sticker looks that the way it goes but then the uh, symbols all go a little bit that way so first I was looking up here saying what the heck kind of sign is that these are K's and then that's an L in the middle so that's what we're going to start with <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well um if you watched yesterday's video you know that um I am filming this on a Sunday. I'm doing what Debbie likes to refer to as batch filming. Um, I find <laughs> my sister is wise beyond her years, folks. Let me tell you, I find that uh, doing it this way is much easier, much more enjoyable. So, uh, yeah, she talked me into it. And as usual, my big sister was right. Thank you, Debbie. We hope that you all have enjoyed this sticker series because we sure as heck have. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm so excited about the next stickers that we do. Debbie picked out this set of stickers. I got to pick out the next set of stickers, and I think they're just too darn cute. And I hope you do too. And Friday, I'm going to uh, leave the link not only to the book that I got, both Debbie and I, that we can put our stickers in, but I'm going to leave a link to the stickers that we're going to be working on. This way, if anybody wants to join in, um, we'll give them some time to get their stickers from Amazon and, um, and, uh, and then they can work along with us, which I think would be a lot of fun. We do have a couple of folks who have, uh, done their own stickers. Some folks have gotten these exact stickers and some folks have gotten other sets that they just like to work along with us every day. I think that's wonderful. Debbie and I really enjoy it. And uh, we hope you guys have too. It's been a lot of fun. She's Debbie's done a couple sticker series. I This is my first one. I've done stickers before. I just didn't videotape it. But um, she's got me uh, wanting to grow my channel and I want to thank everybody who has recently subscribed. You guys have really shown me some crafty love and I do appreciate it. Believe me, I really do. We're having a lot of fun and funny. I'm working on an avocado. 
because if you guys have seen any of my other videos, I talk a lot about my garden that my husband has, that my husband tends to. He's growing uh, some food for us, some vegetables and things. And um, so it happened, it just so happens that uh, we're heading into our second growing season. And um, we're actually looking into growing avocados. And I'm so excited about that. We're also looking into growing sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are very good for you. My husband was never a sweet potato fan. And in all honesty, I never was either. But one day I tried them, I don't even know where, and I loved them. I actually prefer sweet potatoes now over regular potatoes, uh, unless they're my mashed potatoes, in which case I will definitely enjoy my mashed potatoes. Um, but yeah, sweet potatoes are the thing. Well, I started buying them more and more, and uh, he started eating them more and more little reluctant at first. I, he did tell me, you know, I'm not really a big fan of sweet potatoes. Okay, fine. Well, now he is. He really likes them. And then when he found out that we could grow them, well, that's a game changer. We're doing our best to uh, grow most of our... Um, vegetables that we would definitely use more. I'm sorry it took me so long to find this color. I have all of my trays out with my colors, um, but it's taking me a little bit of time to find each color. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, we were taken aback by the fact that you can grow avocados in Florida. And there are several kinds that do very well. Uh, he has singled out a particular kind. I don't recall the name of it. I will have to get uh, with him. But um, there is a particular kind. Everybody, everybody knows Haas avocados. Everybody knows Haas avocados. Um, they are phenomenal, excellent, love them. These are not Haas avocados. In fact, they're bigger than a Haas avocado. But uh, the way that they've been described to us is that they're creamier, um, and, you know, it, with Florida, the weather is so, it's so hot. It's so humid. When, when you're in the rainy season, you're in the rainy season. Um, so it's a little difficult to, you know, to grow certain things here. Well, when we found out that we could grow avocados, oh, forget it. So, Avocados and sweet potatoes are the next items that we will be growing. Uh, he did just clear out the six broccolis that we had planted. And let me tell you, so thrilled with, with our crops of broccoli, especially the tomatoes. Um, we'll be working this week. Well, I should say he'll be working this week on... Um, removing that because uh, that's where he wants to plant his sweet potatoes. Um, so, and we decided that we're going to do uh, the tomatoes next year a little different. We're going to do a different variety. This year we did celebrity tomatoes. Next year we're going to do what's called Everglades tomatoes. And um, Everglades tomatoes are native to Florida, so they can handle the wacky weather that we have here. And um, so we're going to try those with a different uh, setup, I should say. Um, we'd like to try our hands at lettuce, and I think that's going to be next growing season. Not right now, but next growing season. So, uh, yeah, excited about the changes in the garden so much fun um you know when when I, because i've helped him 
uh, plant some of the stuff. And it's really neat to, it takes you right back to being a kid playing in the dirt when you get to dig and, you know, um, uh, get, you know, little rocks out of the soil and everything. And then you amend the soil and you plant, you know, your plants or your seeds. Oh, that's something else that we're going to try this year too. Carrots. We found out about growing carrots in buckets. Who knew? And believe me, you can really get a good yield of carrots. You can also grow sweet potatoes in buckets as well. FYI, found that out. But I think we're going to use our raised bed um, for our potatoes, our sweet potatoes. Um, I think he wants to try some sort of uh, fruit. We do have berries. We have uh, elderberry. We have beauty berry. Um, so we do have those going on. I'm looking for the letter H, folks, so bear with me. Little H. There's two H's. One is a big H and one is a little H. Here it is. I thought that was, I thought this was it. Duh, second guessed myself. Shouldn't have. I should have just grabbed it. Um, so, you know, this was our first year. Uh, hey, mistakes were made. Learning curve, the whole nine yards. Not for nothing. We feel pretty good about what we did. Um, over the weekend, he went, oh my goodness. He bought, because he knows my love of sunflowers. I absolutely love them. And he bought, I want to say, three or four, what's called dune sunflowers, native to Florida. And they're actually part of the daisy family, but they're wonderful for pollinators, which is, we not only have a garden to grow things that we can eat, but we have a garden that will attract pollinators because they're so very important in our ecosystem. And we do, you know, the butterflies, the hummingbirds, the bees, you know, who, Mother Nature is, I know I'm always, I know I'm always, you know, joking about her uh, going through menopause with the weather and everything. But let me tell you, she's got it going on with when it comes to like these pollinators and, and, and everything. Oh, and these Dune sunflowers are so pretty. Like I said, they are in the daisy family. So they're not huge like a regular sunflower. They will stay fairly low to the ground. Uh, it's kind of like a ground cover. Um, but we're going to be putting those in the front of the house. We have a circular driveway and uh, an island in the middle of it. Oh, she turned out cute. Didn't the little avocado turn out cute? I hope my avocados that I grow turn out that cute. This avocado I am going to dedicate to my friend Shaz from Pencil Surprises. Shaz, this girl's for you, honey. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. I miss you terribly. Um, so let's move on to the next sticker that we're going to do. And that just happens to be this little deer that has on a pretty flower what looks to be a flower uh, type of crown on her head. So, yay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be um, planting the uh, dune sunflowers up in the island um, because they love the, um, they love direct sunlight. Uh, they are a no fuss, no muss type of plant. Um, great to bring in butterflies and pollinators and, um, it's, it's, it's going to look nice. They fill in nicely. Like I said, it's kind of a ground cover. Um, so that'll be pretty. Um, but he also got 
two, and Debbie, this is for you. She's not heard this yet. I've not told her, and I wanted to surprise her, but your brother-in-law thought of you this past weekend when he was flower shopping, and he got two twin plants, twin flowers. And they're, they're the little flowers that come out on them, it, it's a dainty little flower, and it almost, it's like a purple type of flower. Really cute. Um, so he bought two of those. Uh, so he's going to plant those, I think, up in the island as well, uh, next to each other. So it creates kind of like a cluster of this beautiful purple. Florida is unique in that it... We have a lot of plants, don't get me wrong, we do, but Florida plants are majority the same colors. Lots and lots of greens, and I mean a lot of green, um, and reds and oranges. Mm, that's pretty much it. So... That's why, you know, when he went uh, shopping over the weekend for plants, he um, he made it a point to buy, you know, these plants that are going to uh, give us other colors, like yellow, like the sunflower, the yellow and the brown, and these little twin plants that'll um, give like a pur pretty purple color, um, you know. We are, I th and I think I've told you guys this, uh, my husband and I are trying to get our garden registered, certified. Um, I believe it would be as a butterfly garden. Uh, but you have to have a certain amount of natives in it and things like that. You have to have, I believe you have to have water features, which we have a bird bath, but we will be expanding that. Um, things like that, but definitely a certain amount of natives, which is right up my husband's alley. Holy cow. Um, he, he does have to go, well, I, I don't think he has to replace it. I think it'll grow back, but if you grow in Florida, you'll have heard of what's called the white fly. And they will just ruin your plants. And they don't discriminate either. They, they hit up lots and lots of different plants. Well, a few years ago, we had um, some white fly. And my husband was able to uh, do a very good job of eradicating them. So now it's just pretty much maintenance, making sure that they don't come back in full force and start ruining things. Um, well, over the weekend, he found a white fly on uh, an, our native porter weed. Now, our native porter weed uh, attracts butterflies and bees, and we just absolutely love it it's a, a it's just a beautiful plant well he without thinking sprayed um something on the porter weed to get rid of the white fly and after he did it he went oh no what did i just do and he came in the house and, and he told me what happened and he was worried. And uh, so he went back outside and he, at first, he literally picked off every flower on the porter weed because he didn't want to attract any butterflies and possibly, you know, have that insecticide for the white fly 
hurt them, possibly kill them. He wasn't satisfied with just taking the plant, the flowers off. So he ended up cutting the whole plant down to the ground and began putting all of the clippings in a, in a bag. He's, he just didn't want them. He didn't want to attract any butterflies to it. So I think he said that it should grow back. He shouldn't have any problems with it growing back, but he said, if not, he will definitely go and get another one and replace it because the butterflies really do love the porterweed. Um, he also got this past weekend, another coral honeysuckle. We have a trellis that, uh, we put in our garden. Actually, it's an arbor. We have three trellises and one arbor right now. And the arbor was the first thing that we got. And, uh, we were able to find one coral honeysuckle, uh, at a nursery. So he went and bought it and uh planted it and we attached it to the uh, to the arbor and let me tell you folks it has not disappointed it's growing leaps and bounds and it definitely attracts the hummingbirds we usually get a hummingbird at least once a day so uh he got the other coral honeysuckle and um it's gonna go on well it is on the other side of the uh arbor now he planted it over the weekend um and uh i i am so excited to see this arbor uh with this coral honeysuckle growing up over top of of it and uh meeting in the middle on the top it's gonna be so lovely and the hummingbirds love it the butterflies love it and when you walk through this arbor into the garden um it's it's like magic and once the coral honeysuckle is completely you know growing over the arbor it's just gonna be magical it really is um so we're excited about that and uh yeah and then he's got plans for the uh trellises our our garden is set up a certain way that he has he there's no maintenance for grass whatsoever barely any weeds because we have uh all mulch in our garden uh easier for him he doesn't have to mow so you know and now that this is the second year of our garden having completely mulch in it, uh, hardly any weeds are coming up. Um, we do still get a couple of weeds on our uh, brick pad patios that my husband has put down. But other than that, uh, there's really no, no weeds whatsoever to speak of um, in the rest of the garden. So uh that's cool but yeah it's gonna be so nice to see these things come to life i'll tell you okay now i'm looking for this color it is the at sign so yeah that's you know that's what we do here at our little homestead do a lot of gardening I do my crafting uh, yeah we we find things to do uh, together like this past weekend um, on Saturdays those of you who are regulars to our channel know that Debbie and I uh, do lives on Saturdays and uh, this past weekend we took the weekend off. Um, I had so much to do and I really just needed to focus on getting everything done that I needed to get done. 
And I'm happy to say that I not only did get everything done, but I got a lot of extra stuff done too. So that helped a lot. I missed everybody. Please don't get me wrong. I missed you all. But um, it was a necessary evil. Unfortunately, I had to take the weekend off. So, but this weekend is going to be fun, fun, fun. We're going to do lots of catching up. And But, um, so I remember in my last video for yesterday, I asked you guys to please, in the comments, put questions. You know, ask me. And be respectful, please. I would appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, ask me some questions. And in, I'm going to make note of them. And in my next sticker series videos that I do with Debbie, I'm going to start answering some of those questions. So yeah, start leaving your questions now in the comments down below. And I will make notations of all of them. And then, uh, during my next sticker series videos, I will be answering those questions. And with that, look at her. Isn't she adorable? She turned out cute. So we did our little deer and our avocado. So there you go. Alrighty, folks. And with that being said... That concludes today's edition of Sticker Fun, our sticker series that we're doing with Debbie from Debbie Gets Crafty. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, leave the video a thumbs up. Don't mind the, yeah, crafting. It's dangerous sometimes. Anyway, leave the videos a thumbs up without the Band-Aid stuff. And leave a comment, like I said, Ask me some questions. Let me know how your day is. What are you guys working on? And don't forget to head on over to Debbie Gets Crafty and watch her sticker series video for today. Leave her a comment and uh, tell her that Judy from Crafting with Judy sent you. She gets a big kick out of it. And until I see you guys again, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.